he sucks you and he's asleep, but he needs to wake up. You sure out. You sure out. You sure a wake up. Huh? Who the fuck are you and how did you get inside my crib? On second thought, welcome to my crib. Damn you fine as fuck. He, <laughs> are you trying to hit on me? She is. Of course I'm trying to hit. No, I'm playing. I don't want you to feel very uncomfortable. He, <laughs> you're so cute. But you probably don't recognize me in this porcupine form. Wait, do I know you? From where exactly? Sigh, I don't blame you. I wouldn't recognize me neither. But I am the dream girl in your dream. Wait! The fuck? You're that dream girl that was in my dream? But how come you look like a porcupine? I thought you was a human being. I guess you can make dreams into a reality, he. <laughs> Apparently in this world, I am a porcupine, and I am a human, being in your dream. Honestly, since I look hot, might as well get rid of my human form and keep my porcupine form. Wait, but how the hell did you get inside my crib, though? And how are you even existing? Well, sweetheart, you thought wrong. I am actually real. I can go inside people's dream and talk to them, and I chose you because you're cute. Then what was all that helped me save my world business? You don't even have to worry about it anymore. I'm just gonna stay in reality. My world got destroyed and the war had ended, so it doesn't even matter. And I'll be staying with you from now on. Damn, just like that. Well, okay then, but you're gonna have to meet everyone. Honestly, we need a bigger house, since we have a whole bunch of people in here. You know what? We walk to mansions. You can meet everyone there. Let's go. Guys, I would like you to meet this chick from my dream, the dream girl. I have a name, you know? My name is Birth the Porcupine. Oh my man. Everyone, meet Birth the Porcupine. It's nice to meet you, Birth. My name is Tadiki the Hedgehog. Not trying to be rude or perverted, but you're hot as fuck. Hehe, <laughs> I get that a lot, but sadly I am taken by Yashiro. My love is for him only. What? Damn nigga, you got a daddy! Congratulations! You're finally gonna lose your virginity! Wait, what? The fuck you mean I'm taken by you? This was so random! Yeah, very random. Like how can we even trust this chick anyway? Damn it. I'm not saying you can't trust me, it's all up to you, but my love will always and forever be for you, Shiro. Well guess what, Miss Birth whatsoever? I've known the Shiro longer than you have. I don't know what you're planning on doing to him, but you better fucking back off before I break your face and glasses. Whoa, whoa, Nene, calm down, girl. Damn, Nene, calm down. It's not even what it looks like. I just met this chick in my dream. Plus, why do you even care if she hits somebody anyway? Because, um, I, I, it's because I care about your safety. Like, how can we even trust this chick anyway? She could have something up her sleeve and we don't even know. Technically, I'm wearing a tank top, for your information, sweetheart. Bitch, does it look like I give a crap? Shabby alien from Toy Story 2. <laughs> Looking ass up. Let me guess, you're jealous? Jealous? Me? No, 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 how could I ever be jealous of you? I look better than you. Period. You don't even look all that. And for y'all men, quit being so damn thirsty all the damn time. No, fuck all that shit. She look hot as hell. I have every right to be. Alright everyone, calm down. Nay nay, chill the fuck out. It's not even what it looks like. That was unexpected on what she said. I wasn't ready for that yet. So just cool off. Besides, why do you even care if she hits on me? You know what, screw this. I'm going to my room. Wait, maybe. Stupid Yashiro. Why can't you get a clue for God's sakes? This is why men are trash. Trash, 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 trash. Honestly, why do I even feel this way? I've never in my life felt this way towards him like that. What's wrong with me? Because it's called love, baby. I was like this when I felt about Kai. Sigh, I guess you're right. 
I'm gonna tell you a secret. I don't wanna tell the other girls, because I barely even know them. I only knew you from high school. But secretly I had a crush on Yashiro since we were kids. Ever since he saved me from a pack of wolves, he came to my rescue, and when we were in high school, he was always there for me when I was all alone deep inside. Even though I may be rough and hot-headed on the outside, but on the inside, I have emotions too. You know. Aw, oh, that is so cute. That makes me wanna cry. You're so lucky to have him as a friend named A. But I do understand that you're in some deep shit right now. That's why I am here to cheer you up and help you. Like, I've been fighting this for a very ass long time. I just can't believe you haven't got the clue yet. I was lying about I never did like him. Actually, no, I don't like him. I fucking love him. I was just pulling this act to try and impress him. When he said he don't like me like that and only see me as a friend, I was hurt on the inside. Might not be on the outside, but on the inside, that shit stands. Oh, baby. Stoop, you're making me cry now. I remember being in the same position you're in right now. Don't worry about a thing, I'm gonna go talk to him. No, don't worry about it, I just need time to be alone and process this shit. Thanks for everything, Stallion Baby, I'll be alright. You're welcome, sweetie, of course I'm gonna help and be there for you, I'm your bestie after all. Hey, Nay Nay, I know you may want to be alone right now, but I came here to say sorry and... 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 Oh my fucking god! Are you crying? Welp, this is my cue to leave. Nay nay, sweetie you know what to do. No stallion, stay here with me! Sorry bestie, you know I love you and care about you, but you have to express your feelings towards him. This is your fight, not mine. Sorry, fight me later. Oh my god stallion! I swear I'm gonna get you for this! Wait, what the hell is going on in here? And why were you crying? Can't hide now, might as well tell you. Have a seat. Well, Yashiro, do you remember that day you saved me from a pack of wolves when we were little? Of course I do. I will never forget that day. That's how we first met anyway. Okay, good. I was about to say, if you ever forget that day, I swear I will never forgive you. But anyway, well, Yashiro, I, 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 sigh. I have feelings for you. Whoa. You do. Not saying it's a bad thing, but... I never knew that. Well, now you do. Well... I started to like you when you saved me that day. And during high school, you were always there for me when I needed help. No one ever has helped me before in my life. I was always alone deep inside. I may be hot-headed on the outside, but on the inside I mean well. And I'm always fighting this pain I'm going through. For all this time this was all just an act to impress you to notice me. But turns out that never worked. Plus when you said you only see me as a friend nothing else nothing more, that shit hurt me deep down. That shit stabbed me in the heart. May not show it on the outside, but on the inside, bruh. I am emotional as fuck. And I am getting tired of it, to the point where I just want to end myself. I don't think I could go on much longer. Like I have no family, they abandoned me when I was younger. I was in foster home. Yes bruh, in foster home. Never knew that huh? Well now you do. I tried fitting in, making new friends, start a family that I never had before. But they hated my guts, for no reason, I guess, based on how I looked. And one day I just ran away from them, I was homeless, had nobody, until I met you and Kai. Whoa. Damn. I am so sorry, Nay Nay, I never knew you'd been through all this. Truly I am sorry. Damn. I am speechless. Like I have nothing else to say after all that. So you said you acted like this because you wanted to impress me. Yes, I wanted you to notice me. Because I love you so much. Always have since that day you came to my rescue. Sorry if I was being desperate.
Shut up. Huh. Why did you tell me to shut up? Huh. Yashiro. Are you okay? Because I told you to fucking shut up. You are so fucking beautiful. Don't you dare say that you want to just give up like that, bruh. Not on my fucking watch. There's still a battle we gotta win together. Because I love you too. And I will always stick by your side no matter what. I don't give a shit about what other people say about you. Fuck them. Those niggas will never understand what you've been through. My quote is they may talk the talk, but can they fit your shoes to walk the walk? No, they fucking can't because they can't fit your shoes. So they need to shut the hell up. Getting tired of people treating people horrible. Because I'm fighting this pain right now currently, and I am here to help you. I will not show no mercy in the battlefield, nor should you, and the others, and for the record you do have a family. You have me, Kai, Stallion, Avery, and the others. I am sorry that your family abandoned you, but maybe it was for a purpose. For you to fulfill your destiny. You have potential. Potential that no one has ever seeked before. And we will always be here for you, maybe. So shut the fuck up. Pick up that sword and shield. And get back in that battlefield. There's a war we still have to battle. I know it's tough. I know there will be some obstacle courses we have to face. But with teamwork, we will win this battle. So don't ever in your damn life say you want to just end yourself just like that. Not when I'm still here. Do you understand me, babe? If you don't, then I will slap the crap out of you. I will continue to slap you until you finally get it in your head. Now come on. Get up. We're not gonna run away crying. Oh my god, Yashiro. Scoop. I'm so glad that I met you and the others. I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. That just inspired me to get back up on my feet and continue to fight. I appreciate everything you've done for me. You're welcome, May May. I care about you, so do the others. Please, never say that again. I'm worried about you. So is the others. We're all worried about you. Okay. I'll try. And I want to give you a reward for being there for me. Huh. I bet, what is it? Thanks for everything. Hehe. <laughs> That kiss was fucking passionate. It was amazing. Well guys, that's it for today's show. Shout out to Keith. Help him reach 100 subscribers. I'll leave his link in the description. Also shout out to my fans. I love y'all so much. And I will always love you guys. Thanks for your support. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Oh, and make sure you add my social media and join my Discord server. Anyway, peace out, guys. Stay pimp in my G's. Bruh, where do you be coming from? I wasn't braver. Sorry, I wasn't stronger. I'm sorry, I didn't wait to see if it would go on longer. I'm sorry, I didn't feel like there'd be a better tomorrow. I'm sorry, I let you keep love. I should've let you borrow. I'm sorry for all the memories and taking up your time. Sorry, I wasted yours and I'm sorry you wasted mine. I'm sorry I didn't fight more. I'm sorry for your tears. I'm sorry I was a burden in the time that I was here. I'm sorry you had to see me in this battered up condition. I'm sorry if my decision put you in a bad position. I'm sorry if I, I'm sorry if I. I hurt you, I'm sorry if this wasn't my greatest action of virtue I'm sorry you're looking at me with a sadness in your heart I'm sorry I didn't tell you all I wanted to depart I'm sorry you think it's dumb, I'm sorry for being numb I'm sorry I wanted all of you and ain't settled for some I'm sorry